North of the Great Himalaya, in the rain shadow region, lies the cold desert of the Trans Himalaya, Zanskar, the Valley of Copper. Located in the Trans Himalayan ranges, Zanskar, the Valley of Copper, lies between the Great Himalaya and the Ladakh range and remains inaccessible for 8 months of the year. Wild and desolate, its landscape abounds with rivers meandering through deep ravines. Narrow trails running through the multi-hued mountains, lined by tall sand structures formed as a result of wind erosion and towering snow-covered peaks defining the skyline. Trekking along the rivers of Barainala, Ramjak Peak and Chuminakpo, through paths replete with boulders, slippery putrid slopes, steep inclines and knee-deep snow, one reaches the vast, windy, expansive snow fields of the Shingola that lie at 5091 meters. The river Kurgiak has its source in this glacier. A mammoth granite rock revered as a monastery that rises majestically in the Kurgiak valley of Zanskar is the Gumbaranjan. The Zanskar river that is wild in summer becomes a vast expanse of ice and snow in winter, wearing a meditative and tranquil garb popularly known as the Chadar. It is the sole commutable route during winter. Zanskar is a land of many ancient monasteries that are over a 1500 years old. The largest Karsha monastery and the Zangla are some of the monumental works of Ladakhi kings and great Buddhist saints. There is one that surpasses all these magnificent monasteries, a unique white structure with what appears like hexagonal cells of a honeycomb, built from mud and wood 
at the mouth of a cave on the cliff face of a gorge of the major tributary of the Lungnak or the Lingti Sarap river the Fuktal monastery an ancient edifice it is a place of retreat and meditation learning and teaching an arid cold desert a remote valley with deep gorges and glaciers a wild and desolate landscape consecrated by the presence of naropa the buddhist mahasiddha it is a shangri la where the simple but hardy mountain folk live together in peace and amity